Okay, so the next question that we got on the menu today is asking us what is the unit for acceleration? Okay, now acceleration, as we know, is um, related to velocity, which is related to position, and they're related through calculus. So if we have position, or I'll, I'll first define our variables. So we have position x of t, and we have velocity v of t, and acceleration a of t. Now, why I write them all as uh, with res as functions with respect to t because we'll need them to be functions with respect to t for them to be related at all, and um, you can't necessarily guarantee that any th any one of these three um, things are going to be the same at different points in time. Like my position right now could be at position zero, but you know I take a step back and position may or time equals one second. I'm uh, you know one step backwards, so the x value is going to be different. So if we want to get v of t, oops, v of t, we take the derivative, the time-based derivative of the position, and a of t, we take the time-based derivative of the velocity, which is just the double derivative, so the time-based derivative, of the time-based derivative of um, x of t. Okay, so the units for x of t, this is just going to be a length. Okay, when we differentiate length with respect to time, differentiating means that the unit is going to be divided by what we're uh, differentiating with respect to, in this case time. So this is going to be length over time. And um, acceleration, we're just doing, since it's the derivative, uh, the second derivative of uh, position, it will be length over time, over time. Time over time, which is equal to length over time squared. Why does that work out? Well, suppose we have a over b over c. This is equal to a over b multiplied by 1 over c, which is equal to a over b c. Okay, uh, that's just how the, the units work out. Um, just by knowing this little rule about fractions, dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, and, you know, it uh, looks fairly straightforward based on that. Okay, but it also depends on, like, which... Uh, which division you do first, but typically you want to go top to bottom, which is uh, what we've done here. Okay, so cool. So we know that the units for acceleration have to have the properties. Acceleration. It has to have the properties length over time squared. So if we use SI units, the length is measured in meters, so m per second squared. If we are Ameri if we are USA units, USA units, we might have feet per second squared, because um, I guess it's a good thing that we use the same uh, time measure time units all across the world. That's the, I, I'm very glad that we are not using like. We don't need to do like a unit convergence for time. That would be uncomfortable. Um, but these these are just some examples. Example units. You can really sub in whatever you want for length and whatever you want for time. If you really want to, it could be acceleration. Could also be um, let's call them custom units. It could be maybe, um, you know, a uh, football field per year squared. It doesn't matter exactly what you put in for like your units. Like, of course, this is kind of a ridiculous unit, a football field per year squared. Um, but that, as long as you have a length, 
over time squared, some unit of time, doesn't have to be seconds, it could be years, it could be whatever time you want, um, that will give you the units of acceleration. Okay, uh, but typically the most common one that you'll see is meters per second squared because uh, SI stands for Système International, International System of Standardized Scientific Units and Properties that hopefully everyone is able to use so that's easier to collaborate with our peers because if everyone was using custom units like this, and I'm saying like, oh, I'm accelerating one football field per year squared. Other people I'm trying to collaborate with, they're like, what do you just say? What type of unit is that? How are we going to convert that to something uh, that we can all agree on? So that's why it's good to use SI units because a lot, most countries in the world, aside from three, um, use these units um, a lot. Okay, so the above solution is good. Question is good. I should mention that it's just a length over time squared and that any uh, units for length and time can be used um, SI units are are very commonly used but are not the only possible units for um, acceleration okay cool 